Happy Sunday. Wrong glasses. Let me try that again. Oh, it's so much better. Oh, there you are. Hi, it is Sunday, October 17th. Uh, got the football game on over there, but I have the house to myself, so I thought I would take a minute to come on here. I haven't seen you all in a while. But my name is Carrie Coleman. I'm an Optavia coach in Easton, Maryland. And I wanted to talk to you about your vegetables, okay? Um, one, there's four important cornerstones to being successful on the five-in-one program. The vegetables are one of the most important. Of course, getting all your water, at least 64 ounces plus a day. Make sure your fuelings are taken on time, every day, two and a half to three hours. Um, weighing your protein and knowing when too much, too little, all that. But the one thing that you have really got to get right from the very first day to be successful uh, by day four is the weighing of your vegetables. Most clients, they forget this part and they start measuring their vegetables in a measuring cup. Boom, biggest mistake you'll make right there. You are shorting yourself, you're gonna be hungry, you're not gonna get enough food. Eventually it will catch up with you when you, you say something like, oh, I'm just a slow loser. You're not a loser, period. Never say that under any circumstances. But you're not a slow loser. You've got to talk to your coach about it and go back and look. If someone, one of my clients says to me, oh, it's okay, I'm, a, I'm going real slow. I'm like, mm. At some point you will slow down, but you shouldn't be there yet. That's when I get on a, a call with them and I say, let's go over what you're doing. And the first thing I will ask them is, are you weighing your vegetables on a food scale? And sometimes, yes, they are, and something else is a problem, but most of the time they're like, well, kind of. Sometimes, you know, I just use my measuring cup and I go, we fix this one thing, we tweak this one thing and boom, it opens up a whole new world for you. I know I'm really close right now, but I've got my table set up. I'm not sure how this is gonna come out, but uh, I thought I would go over it a little bit on, on the weighing of the vegetables. Okay, so in the oven I have my roast. Now I am going to make a salad to go with my roast. So the first thing we do, we have our ingredients. What are we gonna have? We got lettuce, cucumbers, mushrooms, and spinach and peppers, okay? So you have to have this vegetable conversion chart. You've got to have this, it's four pages. This is, I have one upstairs, I have one downstairs, I have it on my phone, I have it at my office. I don't wanna cart it around, so I just have it everywhere. It's easy to refer back to, especially if you have it on your phone, check right there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hypothetical salad, okay? Guess I need a bowl. Okay, got my bowl. Now, let me see. Hopefully you can see me okay and hear me okay. I am going to start with my favorite, not everybody's favorite, but I like iceberg lettuce. So I got my vegetable guy. We flip to lettuces. Let's see. Oh, how good is that? Lettuce. We have endive, iceberg, romaine, spring mix. So here's iceberg lettuce, raw. One serving. You need three servings of vegetables a day. So one serving of iceberg lettuce is... 2.54 ounces. You literally get your food scale out. No measuring cups here. Get it to zero, put the bowl on, set it again to zero. One serving is 2.54 ounces. So we put some on there. Let's see, that's two, two, five, 2.54, boom, one serving in my bowl. Bowl's back on the scale, back to zero. Okay, so the next thing I have here is cucumbers. Get my guide out, let's see, cucumbers, cucumbers. Do, 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 do. Cucumbers, okay. Uh, peel on or peel off? I have my peel off, so Cucumber, no peel, one serving is 2.10 ounces. All right, so we'll throw a couple of those on there. Boom, 2.10, boom, two ounces, two, two servings now. Now I'm going to do mushrooms. All right, let's go here. 
mushrooms. The thing about some of these vegetables is sometimes you eat them cooked, but we'll go over that in a minute. Okay, L, M, N, mushrooms. Straw, white, portobello, brown. I just have plain white mushrooms. Cook, are they raw or are they cooked from fresh? So you look at how you're going to eat them. I'm gonna eat these raw in my salad. So then one serving weighs 1.23 ounces. You go all the way, skip everything here in the middle. Find your vegetable, go to the very end of how much it weighs. What did I say? Raw white vegetables, 1.23. All right, that's back to zero. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. 1.23. Perfect. Throw that on there. Now you have a salad, three vegetables to go with your protein that you will weigh after it's cooked. How easy is that? Here's another thing. In, up, in the 5 in 1 program, you have a few optional snacks that are freebies. Celery is one of them. So if you're not going to use it as a snack, slice up two celery stalks, throw it in there as a freebie. You know, it's perfect. I'm actually not going to have mushrooms in my salad. Here's a little trick. I will take these cucumbers back off here. Here's my lettuce. So say I want to do some lettuce and some spinach. Okay, well. We're going to take this handy dandy guy. We're going to find the lettuce on here again. We got iceberg lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce, F J K L. Lettuce, iceberg, 2.54. So we cut that in half. So that would be 1.25. Yeah. So got my scale back to zero. There's one. 1.25. Two, five, very precise. Get as close to perfect as you can. I'm gonna do the other half in spinach. Raw spinach. Excuse me, papers. Spinach, raw, one serving. Oh, so we have spinach cooked from frozen, spinach cooked from fresh, canned spinach. Oh. Tender greens, New Zealand. Spinach, raw, 1.6 ounces is one serving. So I did half lettuce, I'm gonna do half spinach. So 1.6 ounces, half of that. Hang on, we'll get my calculator. That is how precise you wanna be, 1.06. Divided by two equals 0.53 ounces. I'm all spinach. I think I am. 0.53. Put this back to zero. There it goes. Point. It's a lot of spinach. You'd be surprised. There. So I halved the lettuce, halved the spinach. Those together makes one vegetable. All right, I already know my cucumbers, right? I love cucumbers. Eat them all day long. Cucumber, no peel, 2.10 ounces. Back to zero, please. All right. Perfect. All right, so my little salad right here is two servings of vegetables. I have half of it is half a serving of lettuce, half a serving of spinach equals one vegetable, one serving of cucumbers, there's my two vegetables. But later on when I have my roast out of the oven, I want sauteed mushrooms. So there's two vegetables. I'm gonna go back on my little list here and find mushrooms. Mushrooms cooked from fresh. 2.75 ounces. Got my bowl. Back to zero. Zero that baby out. And all I did was saute these in a hot pan. There's no salt on them. There's no butter in them. What did I say it was? PQR. 
Nope, mushrooms. Mushrooms cooked from fresh, 2.75. All right. That's 1.3. 2.1. You can see. Oh, that's way too much. Excuse my hands. It's my house. Two point. Oh, that's perfect right there. So I'll set this aside and have this with my roast. So I'll weigh out my roast with five ounces with no healthy fats. I have my little salad here. Half a serving of lettuce, half a serving of spinach equal one serving of vegetable. One serving of cucumber, one serving of mushrooms. So what I'll do is I'll take this. This is actually one of my favorite things to do. When you do anything from that lean category where you are not allowed to add any healthy fats, that's because what you cook out of that category is so fatty, has so much internal juice and fat that you don't need any healthy fats. So I will take this little salad that I made, Put it on my plate. I'll put my sauteed mushrooms next to it. And then when the roast is done, I'll weigh it for five ounces and I'll plop it right on top of this salad and cut the whole thing up as one. Who needs a healthy fat when you have something that delicious? And trust me, it is delicious. I am a good cook. My roasts are good. So I hope that explains it. So the premise is that however you are going to consume your vegetable is how you want to, to weigh it. And this, this chart will tell you all of it, especially the tomatoes, they can be a little tricky. So when you look at this, look at your tomatoes because it'll say tomatoes, cherry, tomatoes from a can, diced. What are some of them? I don't know if you do it. It's tea tomatoes. You have red ripe, chopped, cherry, from a can with juice, cooked from fresh, raw. So you need to look this over, follow it. Don't look at this column right here, this is quantity. That's what throws you off because it'll say 0.5 cups and people think, I'll just measure half a cup. No, don't even look at this. Go from here, from your vegetables to here, this last category. This is your weight in ounces. Get it? digital scale so that you can get as close to perfect. The vegetables you wanna be as close to spot on as you can because if you go, and eh, what the hell, give me a couple extra slices of cucumber, fine. But that's gonna to convert to sugar, which converts to fat. Too few of them and you're not giving your body enough of everything that it needs and you will feel hungry. You will, maybe not the first day, second day, third day definitely and then from that point it's going to take you three days to get back into fat burn so get the vegetables right right from the get-go if you don't understand it you're welcome to message me and i'm happy to i don't know email you or talk to you whatever not a, not a problem but um talk to your coach look it up look at other uh, people if you have a facebook page ask that question out there that is is super important and it's probably super frustrating, especially after you've been on it for a while, you're like, yeah, I don't need to do that anymore. You do, you really do. And the other thing is you could, you know, slice up a bunch of cucumbers, put them in, just weigh them, put them into Ziplocs and you would have them whenever you want. You don't have to consume all the vegetables at the same time. So if the vegetables are an issue for you, you could, you know, take a serving with you to work. And when you have the, have a serving of vegetable with it. You can't have it in between, but you could have it with it. And that would cut down on your vegetables later on. So, just a little something, something to ponder. It's um, still loving the program, still doing good. Even with everything that's going on, vacation, mom, you know, up and down a little bit here and there. Gotta stay away from that alcohol. Uh, but it works, so. Stick with it. If you are on the fence about it, there's no contract. So what do you got to lose? Give it a month. See what you think. All right. I do have recipes. So if you want the recipes, as always, email me to kkrascals at gmail.com. That's about it. Hope you have a good Sunday. 
See you next time. Bye.